this section, I'm going to talk to you about the tools that you will need in order you know, to follow this STM32 G0 workshop. So here are the tools you know, that uh, we're going to install. First of all, the STM32 CubeMX. So that will be the first tool. So this is the tool that we'll use you know, in order to generate code. The second tool is the STM32 Cube Programmer. So this is a tool in order like a standalone programmer that we'll use in order to program the flash. Uh, for ID, we're going to install Kyle Microvision. Uh, then we'll install the pack you know, for the SM32 G0. We'll install the library for the SM32 G0. And then also a terminal application like TerraTerm. In a web browser, you're going to go to st.com, so www.st.com. So this is our landing page for ST. And from here, we're going to find you know, the different tools and how to get there. So we're going to look and use, actually, the search menu that is right here and look for STM32 QMX, which is the first tool we're going to install. In products, select STM32 QMX. Click on Get Software and get software again. Then accept the license agreement. Accept. Now you will need you know, to download some uh, softwares to log in to uh, your st.com. So you will need uh, an account with us. So either log in or register. So I have an account, so I'm going to log in to it. I'm going to enter my login information. So I can save now the file in a temporary folder. So I have a directory, like TMP, for example. The next tool we're going to install is the STM32 Cube Programmer. So in the products, select STM32 Cube Prog, then click get software, get software again, accept the license, save the installation file in a directory on your disk. So where I installed STM32 CubeMX, I'm going to also save the Cube Programmer installation file. Next step is to install the ID. So for this workshop, we chose to use Kyle Microvision 5 because this is free of charge for all the STM32 using Cortex-M0 and Cortex-M0 Plus cores. So this includes STM32 F0, G0, and L0. So to get to this page, you can make a search in your search engine for MDK for STM32 F0 installation and activation, or directly use this link right there, www.kyle.com slash STMicroelectronics dash STM32 slash MDK. From this page, we're going to click on the download MDK core link right here, icon. Then we're going to enter some credentials. Once you have entered all your information, click submit. Now click on the link below, MDK version number.exe and save it on your disk. So I'm going to save it at the same location where I saved the other tools. Okay, now we're going to download TerraTerm. So in the search window, look for TerraTerm download, you know, for the OS that you're using. So here Windows 10, and I'm going to download it. So click on download, look for and then it should get here. Download to your directory. So the temporary directory for me. Okay, so now we downloaded everything. So we can open the folder where we install everything and we're going to start installing all the tools that we downloaded. So I'm going to start with the TerraTerm. So right click run as admin. OK, 
okay and we're going to follow the installation so we're going to use like the default states for this and we're done now we're going to install Kai macrovision 5 also known as mdk so that's why mdk version 5.27 in my case so we're going to run as admin and follow the installation and we're going to follow the steps to install Okay, Microvision 5. Okay, so now we can finish the install of Kai Microvision. And we're going to move on. So when the pack installer has finished updated itself, we're going to go to ST Microelectronics look for the G0 so the one we want especially the RB and we're going to install the DFP from there now as we can see so the DFP has been installed so DFP is basically the device support within Kai Macrovision, and it's up to date. We can close the pack installer. So close. Now we're going to install the ST tools. So we're going to start with the Cubamex. So we're going to extract first. Once extracted, we're going to install with the setup STM32 Cubamex run as administrator okay and then follow the steps to install the stm 52 cubamax so this is the tool that we'll use to configure you know to select the part number to configure the pinouts configure the peripherals configure the clocks configure the ios and generate some code okay i'm selecting all the different steps now going through so I'm doing a installation in the default path the next and we're done now we can install the last tool which is the cube programmer so I'm going to extract the files first and i'm going to do the install so select stm32 q programmer executable and then run as administration okay next i'm going to follow the different steps to do the install select the path create the path we're going to keep like this for now for this workshop that's enough next now we're done so we have finished installing the tools we're going to use so you could you know delete the art, all the installation files that can be deleted now from the temporary uh, directory if you want to make some space now if we look at your desktop so you have some new icons that have been created your Terra term, so that's for the terminal software, Kai Microvision 5, uh, STM32 Cubamex, and STM32 Cube Programmer. Now we're going to install the Cube library. So we're going to do that through the STM32 uh, Cubamex. So we're going to open the application, so STM32 Cubamex, double click on it. In CubeMX, we're going to go to Help, Manage Embedded Software. We're going to scroll down for the G0, expand, look for the latest version. So in my case, that's the version 1.2.0. For you, it could be another version too. You're going to click here and install now. When the install of the library is complete, you should see an icon in green like this right there. So that means it has been installed properly.
you can now close the embedded software package manager window and also the stm 32 Cubamax. Now we're going to activate the license for Kyle. So to do this, you come back you know, to the page, remember the page where you downloaded uh, MDK ARM, uh, the version 5.27 in my case. So remember this uh, address like www2.kyle.com slash stmicroelectronics dash stm32 dash MDK. So here you have like a PSN, which is the product serial number that we're going to use to activate the license. We are going to copy this PSN, open Kyle Microvision 5 by running it as administrator. So this is very important because we're going to install the license and for this we really need you know, to run as administrator. In Kyle, you're going to go to File, License Management, then go to Single User License, and here get a license through internet, so via internet. So click on there. So this is going to open a new window in your browser. Here, remember that's the PSN that you copied from uh, this page. So you're going to put this. Then for the email, so use an email, you know, a correct email because they're going to send you a license by email. So please use the correct uh, information here for your emails. Then scroll down and submit. Now an email has been sent to you. So you want to go to your email and check you know, an email from Kyle. So check your emails, look for an email from Kyle, probably name Kyle product license. In the body of the email, look for license ID code or LIC. Copy this string. Now go back to Cal Microvision 5. In the license management window, in the field new license ID code, so LIC, paste the license that you just copied you know, from your email and add license. Okay, so now your license has been installed properly and it's been, uh, you know, it's going to be uh, valid for a year and then you can renew it every year. Now close the license management window and also close Kyle Microvision 5 and congratulations, now you're done. You have installed all the software and the libraries and the drivers needed to do the STM32 G0 workshop.